We're talking about the prophetic gift, which is a wonderful gift to the body of Christ, and it's a gift of the Holy Spirit. And prophecy is about God speaking to man through man, and God releasing the purposes that He wants uh, in man and through man. So uh, we're talking about some basics of the gift of prophecy. And uh, so one thing we may need to understand is that uh, when we prophesy or when we release the prophetic word, uh, the thing to keep in mind is that we may not know everything. We, the, we may not know the past, present, future. It is just a word. It could be, uh, it is just one part, uh, a small piece of information that God reveals in our hearts, which we share, which we prophesy. If you look at uh, 1 Corinthians 13 and verse 9, Paul writes and he says, For we know in part and we prophesy in part which means that we know a small portion, uh, a piece of information that God puts in our heart and we prophesy that. So, so that actually releases a lot of pressure. You know, it's not like we know everything about that person or we know, or it's not like we know everything about that particular situation. We know in part, whatever God reveals, it could be a major part, it could be, it could be a small part, but we know in part and we prophesy in part. So, um, so it could be a simple word, it could be a small phrase, it could be a small sentence, whatever it is, the fact that it comes from God, uh, it, the fact that it comes from the Holy Spirit to our heart is that it's, 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 it's enough. It, it need not sound very significant, but it is significant because it comes from Him. So we know in part and we prophesy in part. And the second thing is that all prophecy uh, uh, should be judged or evaluated. So the one who is releasing the prophecy and the one who is receiving the prophecy, we need to understand that we need to evaluate it, we need to judge it. Uh, 1 Corinthians 14 and verse 29 says, let two or three prophets speak and let the others judge. 1 Thessalonians 5, 19 to 21, do not quench the spirit, do not despise prophecies, test all things. Hold fast to what is good. We know that uh, God, who is the giver of the prophetic word, you know, He is perfect. But the vessel, you and I, through whom the gift flows, we are not perfect. We have our limitations. We have our rough edges. We are still works in progress, and we are learning to to flow effectively. We are learning to hear God's voice and also uh, be a vessel of honor. So. Uh, we are not perfect. We have our rough edges. We have our weaknesses, and and therefore, uh, we uh, you know in the New Testament we see that this instruction which is laid out for those who are engaging on prof in in the prophetic, for those who are ministering in the prophetic. So, uh, you no, know, I might be experienced, uh, you know, experienced prophet, but still I need to submit. I need to submit that prophecy and say, test it, evaluate it. So. This is something that we see in, in the New Testament. Then the other thing is that how we deliver the message and when we deliver the prophetic message is in our control. Word of God in 1 Corinthians 14, 32 and 33 says, And the spirits of the prophets are subject to the prophets. For God is not the author of confusion, but of peace as in all the churches of the saints, which means that um, if you want to deliver the prophecy in a very dramatic way, that's up to you. And if you want to deliver the prophecy in a very simple way, that's also up to you. So the, the, the choice is yours, how you deliver the prophetic word and how you, um, you, know, you share it is, is, in, is in your control. In fact, it's our responsibility. So um, we need to deliver the prophetic word in such a way that the message is heard clearly. The message is communicated clearly and uh, we don't come in the way. The way we deliver, the way we communicate or the way we express does not come in the way of or does not distort the message. So let's pray and uh, let's ask God to really activate, to stir up this gift in us. Father, we thank you for the gift of prophecy. We thank you that um, it's so powerful that your prophetic word can um, God, bring in so much change in person's life. And uh, we pray, God, that we'll be good stewards of the word that you put in our hearts. We give you praise. We give you glory. May we grow in the prophetic. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 
thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.